yeah, um, of the Enveldes, uh, good afternoon. And uh, uh, I will briefly present um, the work with uh, our company Tilde is doing in uh, language technology field is a special focus for technologies and applications for smaller languages. And uh, why do we have such a mission if uh, we analyze the map of the languages on this planet and actually UNESCO has such map with different flags and different colors uh, and in red are those flags with uh, languages in a uh, great danger or only, on, uh, almost extinct. In Latvia, it's um, uh, leave language. Unfortunately, it's almost dead. Uh, then, uh, where are those many languages on this planet? Uh, close to 7,000, but uh, uh, half of population of this planet speaks in 15 largest languages, and there is another half that speaks in always other languages. And these 15 largest languages are relatively well served by all kinds of uh, tools, technologies, resources. But how about these other half of population on this globe? And how about our countries and our people? And we see a dramatic changes uh, what are brought by new technologies, internet, mobile phones. It's a big innovation. Um, and it brings fantastic opportunities. At the same time, it's also disruptive innovation. It changes the field, and uh, those who can adapt to this, these new technologies will, and this new world in general uh, can survive, and those who, who cannot will be part of the history only. So this is a big challenge, challenge for smaller languages but at the same time, these new technologies bring also a big opportunity because we are not alone anymore. And if in the uh, Middle Ages, uh, Lat Latvian language, for example, was preserved by isolation, then nowadays, we Latvian language can thrive and survive by being part of activities of the global world, be, becoming open to the global world. And this could be enabled by technologies that can bridge uh, language barriers. And uh, this is a mission of our company to take part in this uh, and to develop local values in the global information society. Sounds a bit general, but uh, in a sense, these local values are our language, our culture, and this is important for us, but we can expose these values to the global world as well. And we work in the fields of language technologies and also provide language services by human experts and translators with a special focus on our languages, Baltic languages, and also are the smaller languages what can benefit by the same approaches, techniques, new, new developments, and innovations in the field. So in Tilde, we are in business for 21 years uh, already. Such a, what was a fascinating journey. We were one of the first company that uh, started in software development field right after Latvia regained independence, actually a uh, couple of weeks after the full independence was declared in Latvia, uh, after pa Putin, Moscow. And uh, in that time, we have expanded from, from uh, Riga to uh, our neighboring uh, countries, and we have now truly international team with colleagues working in uh, uh, Vilnius and Tallinn, uh, as a one team uh, covering Baltic countries and also uh, in, with a great partnerships across Europe with uh, other companies and universities. And uh, I'm very glad that we have excellent uh, experts, beautiful colleagues, and very no knowledgeable scientists in language technologies uh, in our company. So what are these language technologies? And these language technologies are everywhere around. And those are basic things like spelling checking, 
but still it's 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 very important part of everyday business and it's not for researchers maybe it's not such an interesting problem anymore but for for users it's important that spell check spe checker can recognize always new words new terms that enter our life uh, almost uh, every day uh, and so this is our mission to keep our sp spell checkers uh, up to date uh, covering full lexicon and working on different platforms what users need. Uh, but much more challenging, much more interesting from research point of view, problem is how to go deeper, how to uh, analyze uh, uh, sentences, uh, grammatical structure of sentences, helping people to write grammatically correct sentences. And that's especially important for our languages with uh, beautiful, rich, and complex languages. And uh, we did a survey analyzing uh, uh, written texts on internet and uh, 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 books and uh, a uh, result of uh, school uh, dictation works, and we found that uh, it's a shockingly high number of people um, have a very high number of errors in their documents. They, they, uh, in, in this fast-moving world, uh, it's difficult to, to, to uh, read through everything, and it's very easy to, to uh, leave some errors in the text, and technologies can help to keep our languages like relatively rich and clean, as uh, uh, Professor Weisberg mentioned earlier today. But for this, we need sophisticated technologies for, for parsing texts, understanding the role of each word and relations between each word in the text, and finding what may be wrong, and helping people to correct these errors. Another interesting area where Latvia um, language lags behind and where uh, great research results in other institutions in Lithuania and Estonia is a speech synthesis, uh, speech technologies. In Latvia, we uh, are happy to provide and uh, um, develop uh, widely used speech synthesizer, what is imp especially important for visually impaired people uh, who use that every day, writing emails, writing uh, internet, uh, uh, reading internet texts without seeing anything on the screen, but using t uh, speech tools. Uh, but speech recognition is still an area that needs um, much more efforts. But one company cannot solve where concerted activities are needed. Uh, and uh, very important and demanded part of our work uh, is uh, dictionaries and translation tools. And we provide dictionaries for a number of years in, in many languages. And uh, some of these dictionaries, uh, it's not only about the major translation directions, but also about uh, bridging uh, and making uh, uh, us closer together, uh, enabling us to better understand our neighbors in neighboring countries. And, uh, our former president, Ms. Uh, Varvić Freiberg, had this idea, why not to have freely accessible dictionary on the internet, but not for English, but for other languages, Latvian, Lithuanian, Estonian languages, and we were happy uh, to uh, develop this dictionary, and this was opened actually by the three presidents of Baltic countries uh, back in 2007, and is uh, uh, openly accessible for everybody. And this is part of uh, Lettonica portal that includes many free resources for language, but also for education and culture. Uh, 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 and uh, expanding these activities uh, and uh, uh, involving partnerships around Europe, we were happy to be to coordinate a major activity on consolidating uh, translation resources, terminology resources across Europe in Eurotermbank project. And as a result of this project is a single access point for multilingual terminology uh, involving many European countries in, in different domains. And this was uh, activity that was supported by uh, European Commission. Um, but if you look in general on the evaluation of translation tools, it's yeah, it started with printed dictionaries, when moved with printed 
forms move it to the desktop dictionaries, then later to online, but now machine translation is taking a more and more important role, not only on uh, as online translation tools on uh, usable on PCs, but also as mobile translators, what you have in your pocket everywhere where you travel and you have multilingual communications. And when in the future, as uh, uh, Hans presented uh, in the morning session, where is this vision of translation cloud or what translation universe, whatever it will be called, uh, ubiquitous online translation services for free, available to everybody for translation needs, for personal needs and for business needs. And at the level what's not uh, being able, supported by, by any single company, but by putting together players from all around the Europe in concerted activity. And the steps what we're doing uh, in these activities are uh, taking care about our languages. And uh, yeah, we, we have uh, created machine translation services for uh, uh, bringing the major translation directions for, for English, uh, Latvian, English, Lithuanian, uh, Russian, Latvian languages. Um, as a desktop tools, merging machine translation with dictionaries, and also as freely accessible uh, online uh, translation portal. And um, we were uh, happy to uh, put our expertise and knowledge, but uh, help it to beat other solutions on the web. Google Translator, for example, um, yeah, Google is doing a good job. Uh, but uh, the, the translation for smaller languages is by far uh, uh, at the uh, not at the quality level that's needed for, for real use. And we see there's different approaches needed uh, where we can bring together the best from the past. These all these developments where experts try to put in the algorithms uh, or the language grammar structures and the best of the approaches what uh, Google uses, uh, data-driven approach, where huge text corpora is, is analyzed and uh, computers learn translation from data, merge it together. And uh, this approach uh, turned out to be very successful. That's why uh, in this way we can create better translation systems and uh, uh, provide those to our users through uh, different uh, applications and turning technologies, research results into products used by many users. And our most used products uh, are suites of uh, software tools for language, uh, Tildes Birois and uh, Tildes Bures uh, for Lithuanian market, developed by our Lithuanian colleagues. And these uh, products uh, are, uh, have a very large user base, uh, more than 400,000 users in Baltic countries. And this is also a very big responsibility to keep and develop these technologies for the needs of, of these users. Uh, and also with Lithonica, uh, dictionaries and other services are widely used and we, more, last year we had uh, more than half a million unique visitors regularly visiting this site. Uh, but with technologies, yeah, as I mentioned, are not enough sufficient to provide on, on PCs. Uh, users want them on mobile phones, so we provide also a mobile translation applications for all the major mobile platforms, Windows Phone, iOS and Android uh, platforms. Uh, where to use these tools? It's not just for casual translation, it is uh, very useful for professional translation as well. And uh, our people who do professional localization work, adapting pro software products for major, of major providers to the local markets, they use machine translation and it helps to increase their productivity. They, uh, it's not a final translation by machine, but it's a part of the process that helps uh, people to do more uh, in less time with less efforts. And uh, in uh, this area, we are 
providing services for a number of companies in localizing their products uh, and uh, many popular products like uh, local Windows versions, Office, uh, Microsoft Office, also Oracle, uh, Adobe products and many others uh, are being localized and we are happy to be part of these efforts making technologies to speak uh, in, in the languages of, of uh, our countries. And um, uh, the important development that was mentioned by uh, previous speakers is this initiative in the Latvia language shore. Actually, this was started at quite a high level where former president uh, of Latvia, uh, Zatlers, met with uh, Microsoft CEO Steve Ballmer, uh, explaining this problem that small languages deserve uh, as good support uh, and have to speak in local languages and this idea resonated quite well and uh, so the partnership with Microsoft uh, uh, started and we are happy to take part in this and uh, for example by working with a fantastic team of researchers at Microsoft Research where our experts help to uh, uh, put uh, the best expertise in the Bing Translator so that Bing Translator serves uh, 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 and provides better quality translation than uh, other uh, translation platforms for our languages. Um, how to advance these technologies? We cannot do that alone. The success is in partnership. And uh, there are fantastic instruments how, what enable this partnership uh, was for knowledge transfer and also for uh, minimizing risk by co-funding provided by European Commission but were presented earlier today by um, uh, PIMO and uh, uh, we have participated and are participating in a number of such projects like what brings uh, bring machine translation, translation technologies, and other la related language technologies on the new level, bringing barriers, bringing frontiers uh, by finding new methods uh, in this uh, uh, very exciting field. And there's uh, a lot of space for other players to participate there, and I very much encourage uh, you to learn about these opportunities and take part in, in these processes. And this is just uh, the map with flags with universities and companies across Europe who we cooperate with in with different activities. And this is, uh, this is a way how, how we find, uh, get the best expertise from other countries and put them uh, to work for other languages and bring our expertise to them. And uh, yeah, this is a happy till the family. <laughs> Uh, and uh, uh, we are really excited to, to serve our mission to advance language technologies for smaller languages. Thank you.